guys, it's Maddie, and I don't know you or your personal life or really that much about you, but if you have ever wondered how to make a YouTube video, I'm about to tell you how I do it. Since I've been doing videos for like a whole year, I have like a little bit of knowledge on how to do that, so I thought that since a whole bunch of people have asked, I could tell you guys. <laughs> So yeah, in my last video I mentioned that I use my phone for everything, and that is 100% true. I found that it's actually the easiest way to record, edit, and upload in a time worthy, time sa timely way. But before we talk about anything other than this, we need to talk about screen orientation. The number one most important thing is to make sure you record in landscape. This is landscape, this is portrait. You gotta go landscape. <laughs> no, but honestly, watching an entire video like this is probably the worst thing ever. Please do not put that upon anybody in the world. Like, do you see these black bars? No, no, these are not okay. <sighs> I cannot push the importance of this enough. Your video could literally be the most uninteresting thing that anyone has ever seen in the world, but it's slightly tolerable if it's in the right orientation. On the other hand, you could have the best video in the world, and no one's gonna watch it if it's the wrong orientation. Because you know what? The black bars are not cute. We don't want the black bars. Hey, hi, it's me again, but this time in the right orientation. <laughs> oh goodness, okay, but this is the part where you like talk about all the things that you feel like you need to talk about, you know? So like talk about your friends, your family, what you're doing, all the things. You can check out my vlog channel for references casual plug-in but yeah um this is the part where you do the thing and just do whatever you want it's up to you there's no one who can tell you what you can and can't do just don't touch anyone's butts <laughs> oh try to hit somewhere around the five minute mark in your videos like all the clips together I have found that that works good but it's okay if it doesn't it's up to you. Then comes the part of the editing, which is a great old fun time if you enjoy editing. But it's not too bad because I'm about to tell you how I do it, and I do it every single day, so get ready. So since I said I only use my iPhone, the best app that I have come across is actually the iMovie app, and it comes on the iPhone 6, but uh, if you have anything else other than an iPhone 6, then it's like $4.99 in the App Store, which I definitely recommend getting because it works. <laughs> Trust me, I know how much spending money sucks, but it's worth it. So yeah, then once I've filmed my entire day, I just open up the iMovie app and get started on editing. Okay, so at this point, you have your app open and you are ready to get started. So at the bottom, you just press the plus button. This is how to make a movie, whoop de doo Is this an iMovie tutorial? I don't know, but create a new movie. And then once you're in there, go ahead and add all the clips that you want to add. whoop de doo recently added, there we go. There's all my clips. Let me just add them in there real quick. Just like that, whoop de doo so with the iMovie app, it automatically adds in those little clip slidey things, and I don't like those, so I just take them out. Personal preference. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> then I have a personal intro and outro, so I just add those in really quick. But for those, I use the slidey things. I don't know. Just let me live. So after I have all the clips in the order that I want and everything is A-OK -okay due to my standards, I go ahead and watch it over just in case I didn't miss anything that I did or did not want in there. Then once I like how it looks, I just save it to my camera roll. Woo! Doesn't take that long, thank god. <laughs> once it's done doing the import thingy, I just go straight to my YouTube app, go to my channel, and click the upload button. Like honestly, it's the easiest thing ever. Then that pulls up my camera roll, I click the video that I want, and I just wait for it to upload straight from my phone. So what the YouTube app does is it uploads your video and then it processes it. So once it's done uploading from my phone, I X out of the app and I go get my thumbnail ready. For the thumbnail, I usually just use pictures that I've taken that day or I take a little screenshot out of the video and I go to edit it. 
If it needs editing, I usually use After Light, like I said in my last video. And also, if it needs, like, if there's more than one picture and I want to stitch them together, I use Pick Stitch. So for the thumbnails, there is actually a certain, like, length and width that you need. The dimensions are 16 by 9. The cool thing about Pick Frame is how you can actually, um, set the dimensions for your frame pick that you want to do. So, so I always just click the 16 by 9 setting and I just go to the one that I feel like I need that has the correct number of little spaces for my picture. So then during the time that I'm getting my thumbnail ready, my video is done processing about. So then comes the part that sucks. Ugh. So you can't actually change the thumbnail of your video from your phone. I haven't figured that out yet. If there is a way, please tell me. <laughs> so once I have the thumbnail that's all ready to go, I just email it to myself and then I change the thumbnail from my computer. Low key, that's kind of why I like get weeks behind on thumbnails, but sorry. Then basically by the time my thumbnail is all ready to go, my video is also done processing, so I'm just ready to click upload. So yeah, basically that's how it's done. All in a good day's work. <laughs> I'm so done with myself. So yeah, now that you've watched a tutorial on how to daily vlog, you have no excuse not to start a channel. <laughs> So yeah, I hope this advice helped you. This is a video that I wish that I could have watched like a year and a half ago when I was like, hmm, should I daily vlog? I don't know, I should probably look into it. Oh wait, there's no tutorials anywhere. So yeah, there you go, you're welcome. But yeah, that's actually it for this week. So I will see you guys later. Woohoo! <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to, subscribe? Let's just write it out. Don't forget to subscribe to my vlog channel, and also I'm tweeting from Twitter every single day. Who surprised? Nobody. <laughs> but yeah, if you actually go to my Twitter right now and retweet the tweet about this video, I will definitely 500%, 110,800% follow you. How do you feel? <laughs> And I almost forgot to mention my Instagram, which is pretty fly right now. Gotta admit, you should probably go follow it. That rhymed. I am... Oh, goodness gracious, I need to go. So yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Peace and blessings. Okay, bye!